Temptation is a very part of human life. From the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, to the present time, all have faced temptations in different ways. But the question which disturbs the mind of many is this. Does God lead us into temptation? For me, God allows you to face the temptation, but he will never make you to fall into temptation. This we can see in the story of Job, where God allows Satan to test Job. We know there is temptation. It is a strong desire to do something against God. More accurately, I would say it is a choice. Each temptation places two options in front of us, good and evil. If we select good, then we overcome the temptation. But on the other side, if we select evil, then we succumb to the temptation and then it becomes a sin. Here we should understand one thing that God respects our freedom. He never touches our free will. God has given us the freedom to select good or evil. Therefore, no one can blame God when he falls into temptation. Temptations come on our way from the desires we have. Therefore, each temptation is a battlefield where one has to fight constantly with the help of God to win. But spiritually saying, it is an opportunity given to us to show how deep is our love for God. If we love someone, then we will sacrifice our own desires for them. Jesus loved us, so he sacrificed his life for us. Jesus, in his earthly life, faced temptations, but he did not succumb to temptation because his love for God was so deep that he sacrificed his human desires for the will of God. Dear friend of Jesus, during this season of Lent, this should be our attitude that my passions may be so strong, but my love for God is stronger than my bodily desires and I will not do anything which will displace Him. Each temptation is an opportunity to show God our love for Him. Each temptation is an occasion placed in front of us to defeat Satan. Jesus, from the temptations He faced, knew that how difficult it is for a person to overcome the temptations. He knows that the human weakness is so strong that it is prone to temptation and thus to sin. So Jesus taught his disciples to ask always for the protection of God from the trap of the devil. Jesus knows and had seen the peak of human weaknesses. He knows that we who are his disciples are so weak that we may fall into temptation if we had to face one. So Jesus in his humanness taught us to ask to the Father, lead us not into the temptation but deliver us from evil. If we pray this prayer with the mind of an innocent child, then we will experience the depth of Jesus' love for us and the concern that he has for his weak children. If we pray this prayer with a childlike faith, leaving all the questions aside, then we will have a genuine love for Jesus who once experienced the depth of human weakness just like you and me. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen